like you ever felt. Are you listening? Damn. Hey, what's going on guys? Mike here from Arizona and it's about that time. We're going to start our project, our um, DIY IBC tote aquaponic system that's going to go in my greenhouse. Now, I do want to say that it is very gloomy. I'm not sure exactly how much stuff I'm going to get done. I have a feeling I'm going to get rained on and I don't really want to use electric uh, saws and things uh, in the middle of the rain. So that's probably not going to work out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by taking off these clamps here. Now it looks like this one's just held together just regular bolts or ratchet might take care of that even possibly just a regular uh, wrench. I have a monkey wrench that I was working on. I was doing some work earlier today and I have that one out so I'm just going to try to see if they'll slip those off. This one right here is um, like a star and I do have these. I bought these because I knew I was in this project and I believe it's the T40 which is the biggest one right here that fits into there. So let's get going with this and let's see uh, see what we can do. Alright, so this was a T40, so let's see here. I'm going to try to do this with one hand. We're going to make sure it goes a little bit left. There we go. Okay, looks like that one's good. Good. Down. Let's see if these come out. Okay. All right. That so far was pretty simple. All right. Now to the other side, which is going to be a little bit harder because I don't have much room to work. You know what? I'm going to pull this towards me. Not enough room to get back there with the drill. And I do want to mention too guys, again I, I did mention this when I bought these, but make sure when you get these that they, if you do decide to go this route, make sure that they are food grade. Because you want to be able to, like, I'm going to actually wash these out again. Even though these are food grade and these were washed, supposedly, from the people that I get these from. Um, not that I don't trust them, but I really want my system to, I want to be worry-free that my system is not going to harm any plants or fish. So, I just want to make sure. So, And, the, and I'll, I'll get into what we're going to use to wash them out. But that's after I chop them. I'm not going to wash them while they're still like this. So there's a little bit of a clip up here. Okay, there's there's one. There you go. And there's two. Hopefully, it's been raining. Hopefully, there's uh, there shouldn't be an accumulation of water or anything in here. But hopefully, I could just pick it right up out of the top of this. So I don't think I'll be able to do that with the camera in my hand. But yeah, it's a little heavy. So I don't think there's any liquid in here from water getting in the top. It shouldn't be because it should technically be sealed up there. But I'm gonna reseal these anyway, just for when I get to that part. So just give me one minute. Actually, I do want to point something out, guys. So you can tell if your item is food grade by a couple of things. Now, <laughs> by looking at this, you're like, whoa, you know, this looks kind of dangerous. But let me show you here really quickly. This is where this came from, okay? Bear Mountain Winery Road, okay? And this is, this actually is a winery, okay? And also, too, I'll show you on this one because this one actually still has the sticker on it. 
alcoholic beverage. Now, they're not all going to be alcoholic beverage. You know, some of them are going to have different things like syrups. I actually, the best kind you can get, and I tried to get one, but, or I tried to get a few of them. I just couldn't get them this time around. They, were, they had them available a while ago, but I didn't, I didn't actually jump on them when I should have. But they actually had distilled water in them. Um, that would have been perfect because there would have been really no prep work on the inside. Um, again, there shouldn't be any prep work really on these because these are washed from the company who does do this program. And um, distilled water would have been great. This has alcohol. So some of them actually did smell like, like alcohol when I got them, but not like rubbing alcohol, more like beer, <laughs> beer and wine. So, um, so I'm gonna do, I'm probably gonna clean these out with dish soap and uh, just, We'll do some dish soap, we'll get lots of suds, and then from that moment on we'll probably cut with baking soda, and then these things will be good to go. But that's why you want to get food grade, and that's how you know if you get food grade, by showing the address of where these came from, do a little research and see what that address actually is. Is it, you know, was it a, was it a restaurant, or was it a place that does chemical packing, you know? Because a lot of these things do have chemicals in them and some people tried to pull it off and sell it as a food grade container because it's plastic but indeed if there was something in there that was not food I'm not saying it can't be done I'm just saying you probably shouldn't do it you should not use it for fish if it's not food grade because chances are even if you clean it out good there might be still something in there especially if you're going to be using it to grow food for yourself I wouldn't necessarily mess around with that all right, so I removed this sign off of here, so now you can kind of see through it. And there's another one on the other side. And I want to just show you, because at first I thought it was going to be really simple to remove, but it is, but it's, it's a little bit more complicated. So right here, these are kind of welded together with this clamp that holds this on. So I just grabbed it and twisted it, and the weld comes loose, and now I can, uh, now I can just take this apart. Let's go do the other side. So let's see if I can get a good shot. So down here probably better. A little bit of a crazy angle right here. There we go, I heard it snap. So the weld came loose. So now bolt clamps are off. And I'm just going to pull on this. So let's just hit it. <laughs> Thought I was going to pull on it, but it didn't come off, so I just hit it and now it's off. So now I just have the bare cage, which is nice. And this is a good time to double check and make sure you know exactly where you want to chop. And like I said, I already know where I'm going to chop. And that's going to be right under this bar. Alright, well, I will be back. Alright guys, this thing's ready to be chopped. I have it set up to where you should be able to see everything. So, here we go.
ready to cut up the coat and I did draw markers along the side with a sharpie. Turns out there's actually lines on here already. So I'm just gonna go across the line that's already there. Kind of even with my lines that I drew on there. Some of my lines are a little higher, but that one seems to be more straight. So I'm gonna go with the straighter line. I did not use a straight edge, but the lines on there that are fixed in here are definitely straight. So we will do that. Here's my finished product guys and what you're seeing here is a base and the grow bed. The grow bed actually I left taller just for the simple reason that I will be growing my plants out of the tops of these and keeping the fish at the bottom. There will be different types of plants in the bottom but lower light plants than the ones that grow on top. I did like I said leave it longer just because I felt like the amount of um, the amount of space was, was, I needed a good 12 plus inches and that's what I got up here. So um, let me take the tape measure and I'll see exactly how many inches we left for this top grow bed. So that is just about 15 inches on the top, which gives me plenty of space to grow plants up on top. And down here I measured it out to where this bottom bin is actually 150 gallons. And then the top keeps the rest. So there's no waste here, guys. This is, the, this is what the finished product is going to look like. The next series will be plumbing. Hopefully these will all be set up so I can plumb them all together. And uh, when I do that, you'll be with me every step of the way. So I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. If you did, please throw me a like. Please comment and please subscribe if you have not done so. I'll talk to you later.